Hi friends, welcome back to Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. My name is Avine and today I'm going to be talking about how I create our schedule or routine for the upcoming school year. Now, when I'm making this schedule a routine, I am not assuming it's going to be the same for the whole school year because things do change and usually it will need some tweaking. So this is just something that I like to create at the beginning of the year just to give me sort of a guideline on what we can try out. And if we have to tweak and move things around from there, that's fine. It just gives us kind of the skeletons of what I think a regular homeschool week will look like. Now there's lots of ways to create schedules or routines for your homeschool and I'm not going to be talking about all the different types of schedules or routines or flows, but I'm just going to be showing you how I create my schedule and routine for the new school year. In case you're new here, just so you have some background, I homeschool four kids ages 9 to 13. They are going into 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th grade in this upcoming school year. And we do a lot of family subjects. We do a lot of things together as a family. It just works well for us. So about half of our time or even more is spent learning together as a family. And that's just some unique dynamics that we have in our homeschool. We also are a literature-based Charlotte Mason inspired homeschool. So if you're interested in content like that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see future content. All right, so let's talk about what I do in preparing or planning out my schedule for the new school year. So first of all, the things I think about are what are some of the activities or blocks of time that I pretty much know where they are and where they're going to be that they're going to take out of our other homeschooling times. For example, I have two boys who currently go into the school for half an hour to an hour a week for speech and occupational therapy. And so that is something that I can try to arrange some afternoon. And I will not know exactly right now in creating my schedule when that will be. I will know what time it was last year. And they usually work with me to try to work around our homeschool schedule. So I can have an idea that maybe it'll be on a Monday or Wednesday, hopefully afternoon. I can give them a few options, but I'm just gonna assume that one of those afternoons we are going to be doing that. Another thing that we do in our homeschool and I want to continue in the upcoming school year is our Charlotte Mason group nature walk. That's something that happens every two weeks on a Tuesday afternoon, usually from one to three o'clock. So I need to make sure I have that in my schedule in creating my new schedule. The third thing that I know is going to happen, but I'm not exactly sure on the times is our parent partnership program classes. Now these classes are all extracurricular type classes. So it might be art or music, some writing classes, maybe science experiments. So there's a variety of things that they can pick. And it's something fun that my kids enjoy and they get to have that little bit of classroom, small classroom experience. But I don't know when that's going to be exactly. Now I know from past experience that I can sign up for one or two classes and that will usually take half of the morning. I don't know what day of the week they're going to be but I'll show you more when I create my schedule, how I can make my schedule with all of these still unknowns. The final thing that I know we are going to be doing in my schedule this year is Friday mornings, we meet up with our church homeschooling group. So there's about three or four families that get together every Friday morning and we either do a nature walk, we do a hike, we just hang out and play, we go to someone's house, we do some arts and crafts and we might be doing some computer stuff and possibly music in this upcoming school year. This is a lot of a social time for our kids. They hang out with their friends, as well as we try to sneak in some things that are educational here and there. So I know for sure that Fridays is going to be that one thing. So those are some things that I'm going to put into my schedule first, and then I have to arrange all my other blocks around those things. So my other blocks are deciding what we're doing in the morning before school, when we're going to be doing our morning time or morning basket, when my kids are going to have time to do their independent work, when we have time for doing our group subjects, and then when they have time for things that they need a little more support on, for example, IEW writing or things like that. So those are the things that I'm going to slot around these other things that I've mentioned here. So I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to show you my computer. I'm going to show you my last year schedule because this year is not going to be a whole lot different from last year. And I'm just going to show you the process that I'm going to go through as I think through 
how things worked last year and if there's anything I need to change for the upcoming school year. So I have my last year's schedule right here and I also have a blank copy here. And I can link this blank copy in the description box below in case you wanna use something like this to fill it out. So as you can see, I do have times here along the sides, but these are going to be estimates. They're not going to be exact. We don't like set a timer or anything like that. I just like to have some estimates in there so I can figure out what our schedule or flow will probably look like. I generally don't look at this much after I've set it up and after we have figured out what we're doing each day. So the first thing I'm going to do is take all of the big chunks that I kind of know are going to be interrupting our day and I'm going to stick them on this new schedule here. So I'm gonna look over here. And so I'm, like I said, I don't exactly know when our speech and OT are going to be, but I'm going to pretend for now that they're at the same time or even if it's not the same time, then on a different day, but a similar time. So I have OT on Monday around this time, 12.45 after lunch. I have nature group, usually that is every other week and we would start at one, so we need to leave pretty early, so 12.30. So I'm gonna put that on our schedule. So 12.30 to, we wouldn't get home until probably 3.30 and that's our nature group. Nature. All right, so that is an every other week thing. So that's not every week, but I'll put it on there for now. And then we have our parent partnership program. And as you can see here, we have to have to drive there and I'm not sure when it's going to be. I might let my kids do two hours this next year. So I might wanna pretend we're leaving at 9.30, I'm not sure. For now, I'm gonna keep it the same. I'm gonna say we leave at 10.30 and we'll get back around lunch. And as you can see, I have independent studies there. That's because my kids can do independent work while they're in the car on the way there. Now, I don't know what day of the week this is going to be on, but I'm just going to make that a Wednesday activity for now. And I can really easily shuffle these things around once we do find out what days things are on. So for example, I could just pick up this Wednesday and if it became a Thursday, I can move it there, change the date and that will pretty much work for us because it's really just these big time slots that are being switched around. Our schoolwork, what we can do around it will just depend on what's happening that day. I don't have anything set for Thursday, but Friday I have here homeschool group and we have to leave at about 10.15 and we usually get back around lunch. So I'm just gonna copy that. And so 10.15, we're headed out for that. Okay, so these are the things that I know I have on my schedule that I need to work around. So as you can see here, last year we started at nine o'clock and I want to actually start 15 minutes earlier next year because I want to add in some personal devotion time for my kids. So I'm gonna ask kids to do personal devotions at about 8.45. So I'm just gonna carry that across here. And then I did like how my morning started. Basically, I'm about 45 minutes to an hour for math. People would be working on their math. So I'm going to just copy this first part here and assume that all of this will be the same for now. Let me add that in there. So we're working on math with my daughter and independent work for my boys, which is really math. And we do math four times a week. So this might be the day that we don't do math. I'll have to decide if I want to move that over here, but that's what I have here for now. So here, let's see, what did I have? So I have morning devotions, which lasts about 15 minutes. That's about right. And then so morning basket would be about half an hour after that. That is about right. I think I'm going to add a little extra time because we're either going to be doing our language arts as a group, or we're going to be doing Mandarin Chinese, and I'm going to alternate those. So I might make morning basket a tiny bit longer in the upcoming school year. So I might just make that a longer block than it has been in the past. So let's do that. Okay, and then I might, I don't know if we need recess or not. I might make recess a bit shorter. We'll have a break, but we have been cutting it down a little bit. So I'm just going to make it 15 minutes. And then group subjects I have here 
45 minutes. I think that's about right. So I'm going to put that in here, 45 minutes for group subjects. Okay. So that I can have group subjects there. So here, what do we have? On Wednesday, it's a little different. Personal devotions. I might start with all of this, morning devotions and group subjects, and then we will do our independent studies from there. So they can start on some work and then we can jump in the car and they can finish it. So we might do that. So then group subjects ends at about 11.45. And last year we had Fix-It Grammar and IEW. So I'm not gonna have Fix-It Grammar this year. So let's do some IEW blocks in here. Okay, so if we have speech or OT, I'm gonna try to make it a little later because I'm hoping to be able to do IEW at least three times a week. So I'm gonna stick those on those three days and that doesn't leave us any time for lunch before going to speech. So I'm going to try, I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna try to get speech to start later. So I'm gonna say we leave at 1.10, hopefully speech would be from 1.30 to 2.30, that would be my ideal. So I'm gonna put that there for now. All right, and so we'll put our lunches in here, usually about 45 minutes for lunch. So I'm gonna paste those in. And we often don't start lunch till a little bit later. So I'm gonna put these here and give us a little more time for independent work. We'll be doing some independent work coming home, that here. And, and actually, I'm only gonna have a few days where we actually do the videos. I'm not going to actually schedule another IEW block that will just be part of their independent work. So I'm going to put that here and just change these colors here. All right, so that's an independent study block. All right, so then nature group, we'll need to head out for nature group. Let's see, starting at one. So we'll have to have a short lunch right here, actually even earlier. All right, so you can see that on our nature study days, IEW may not happen. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put IEW writing question mark, and it can just depend on if it's a nature study day, then we will skip IEW that day. And when it isn't, then we will do IEW. So that could be alternating depending on what we're doing in the afternoon. And then usually the other day of IEW is going to be more independent work for my kids. Okay, so that's pretty much what my morning looks like at this point. So we have, on a general day, we have personal devotions, we have math, and if we have time for independent work, we can do that there. Morning devotions, so I'm gonna call that Bible. We have morning basket three times a week. Uh, we have group subject four times a week here. Then we have IEW when we can, and whatever we're doing here for a parent partnership program and independent studies here, and independent studies here. So I can see that I don't have a lot of independent studies time in my schedule. So I'm gonna to have to think about where we can fit that and if we can spend a little less time on certain things. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. It's hard to fit everything into our schedule. Of course, we have after lunch, and as my kids get older, we'll probably have to do more and more after lunch. But at this point, I really try not to do that as much as possible. So sometimes I did have to schedule out a 30 minute block for independent studies or when I can help them with their independent studies. So I might just have to schedule that in there. Friday, we're gonna not try to do that. And then after that, we go to all of these things. So quiet time, silent reading, independent studies. And what this means, this is really a quiet time where they're not going to need my help. So these might be times when I can help them with any independent work that they need help with, or they can finish up some things. And then this time is going to be more the time where they're in their rooms, quiet, doing silent reading, or any finishing up any work that they might need to finish up while I can do my work. So I'm gonna stick one of these blocks over here after speech, and I'm gonna stick that over here after our Friday. So this is kind of, and then nature group, it will be either nature group or quiet time. So just uh, these two days will alternate. So sometimes it's nature group and sometimes it's gonna be kind of one of those days. 
All right, so then we have after that, generally it's tablet time or play outside. So we have a scheduled time for that. So I'm gonna stick that here, stick one there, stick one there, stick one there, and stick one there. And actually my kids go to Good News Club on Fridays usually, and that starts at about 3.15. So I'm gonna put this here and change this to Good News Club. And then we have any extra time is just free time and it just depends on their activities and I'm not going to go through all this because this is more just getting ready for bed and our routine. So that is basically our homeschool schedule for the upcoming school year. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure when some of these things are. I do know the nature group will be here probably every other week. This will be here, our homeschool group. I'm not sure when this will be, and I'm not sure when this will be, but I can always just switch some days around. And this really helps me to be able to start thinking more about what I'm going to be doing in these blocks and if I have actually enough time or if I need to cut some things out because this is basically more of a realistic look at how much time we have to be homeschooling. So thanks for coming today. I hope that was helpful in just giving you ideas of what a homeschool schedule might look like what sort of things you might want to consider while you're creating your homeschool schedule or routine, if that's something you're interested in doing. I hope I was able to cover a little bit about why I set up my schedule the way I do and how that helps us in our homeschool. Come back next week to find out how I organize my morning basket for the upcoming school year. I'm just going to have you come along with me as I look at all my available curriculum for my morning basket and how I choose what's going to go into my term one morning basket. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified of when that video comes up. Thank you so much for coming today and I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye everyone.